Hi everyone, it's Melissa Phillips here again for Stamp Affair 2014. Um, I am in the Regency era and I'm going to teach you an antiquing technique using um, the beautiful frame from the Regency era stamp set. I started with my die from that same collection and um, vellum. I like the way that this technique um, transforms and takes place over vellum, but you can use any medium that you would like to. But um, I stamped my frame on my die cut piece of vellum and then I embossed it using um, gold embossing powder. Then the next step is simple. Um, just grab yourself some uh, scratch paper and some dark ink and then a little uh, paper towel. I used walnut stain, distress ink from Ranger, but you could use any and you're just rubbing your stamp pad with the paper towel and then you're just going to, in circles, rub it over your embossed gold frame. You can go as light or as heavy as you would like to. Um, you can leave it in spots instead of blending it. Um, but you'll see that it just starts kind of soaking, soaking into those little grooves. Um, to me, it kind of resembles an old intricate metal book plate. And anyway, this, this is just really fun. So have at it. Get as much as, as you'd like on there and let it sit and dry a little bit or else you'll smudge your project. So <laughs> I learned that one the hard way for you. Um, I think that's about all I want to do. So pick it up and show it to you complete. And it looks even more beautiful on a project and I will show you that in just a minute. Okay, so our card. Um, use any of the pattern paper that, that you've got on hand from the Regency era kit or any of your own, but I used the script as my background and then the stripe, solid rectangle in the center. And then I used a vintage cream tag sale number one. And I stamped the cute little crocheted flower in sweet blush. And then my leaves in fine linen and then I went ahead and stamped my sentiment where I knew the center of my, my embossed frame was going to be. And now I've got that in place and it's just so, so elegant looking. Um, I did want to add the script from the Regency era kit across the bottom just to add some more layering. And I'm going to use soft stone ink on that so that it doesn't stand out too much but just enough to give it some character. I love layering stamps. You could even do it twice if you wanted, but I think I'll just stick with once. Okay, to finish, um, all I'm going to do, or all I have done here, is just tie a scrap of trim. It could be vintage or, you know, modern. It doesn't need to be anything special with some vintage cream top-notch twill. I'm just going to adhere that to the top of my tag. I've embellished with a little piece of die cut uh, vintage trim here using this just the Just Smile die. And then I went ahead and added some gold sequins just for fun. But you sure don't need any of those special touches. Just the things I like to use. So I can't wait to see what you come up with and I hope you enjoy this new technique. See you soon.